and the police department came through again with a if on these on these boats you're putting them back together you know if you were a strictler for authentic authentic being real then these, these right here one goes on one side and one goes on the other side okay one of them's been lost broken it's gone so it, uh, this is what the replacement was onto this engine and it's just one off the shelf at the hardware store so it's an oddball when you when you put the nuts on there them's the same size around on the outside and this one over here is smaller on the inside so in the parts department there i have one of them it's the wide ones so i'm, I'm gonna put it right there and take this one out so now we, we have a full set of them i'm just saying uh the parts department also came through with you know it's one of them things where you know you got an engine that, and you want to get it running you do you do this nothing wrong with it at all and it's what they i think it's what they send you on the internet if you buy two of these things for this engine I think it's what you get in the mail right here, and it's just not right at all. It's too big. It's it's cadmium plated. It's the nuts that goes right here on these on these castellated. Them nuts that goes right down there and locks down like that right there. And then you put your cotter pin through there and, and and put that way right there. Okay, that's the one that's supposed to be on here. You know how hard it is for the seller on the internet to source these instead of these they're, these are too big they're bigger than the other nut there One of them studs screw right out of there, and the other one is some more tight. Actually, it uh, I should take that out of there. Well, it sure is rusted in there. Okay, not to not to be fooling around anymore. I done already scraped that gasket off her. Right, that was that was some that gasket on right there. I see them crows out there in the in the in the in the yard, yeah. You know? That's pretty cool. But anyway, I got that gasket off her. Right. I'll war brush you a little bit, but we gotta see to these valves right here. <clears throat> and the other day when I was looking at it, I noticed a couple of things on it that I probably ought to uh, alert you, everyone. Uh, that blank page in your book, make a note concerning this. One being, when I was going to take this exhaust valve out, I, I, I just did that right there to see how what the tension on that spring was and there's none well yeah there's enough to hold it closed there's enough tension on that spring to hold it closed but nowhere near anything to require a spring tool so I take that thing out of there and the keeper we'll, we'll we'll get a new spring to put in here because this spring is uh yeah with <laughs> that's pretty smart right there uh needed about four or five more of these shims and it probably would have brought that up to height but we'll see to that and leave that shim out the next time but just on 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 camera there uh 
If I manipulate back here to back, can you see how much how much play is in there? How much side play? To the point that it's no good no more. This first time I've ever had this valve out. Oh yeah, I'll show you what we're talking about. <clears throat> Not, not to be confused with nothing, the item at hand is this valve as we just done took it out of this engine. Well, I probably should put some more lights on for that. All righty then. The show goes on with this valve, the centerpiece. That's an original valve for this Type M engine with this with this heavy head on it. I, I would consider it to be used as a heat sink, my thinking, but not to be. That this is a perfect example of a worn out. It's worn out, but. It's a perfect example of a bad fitting valve that I might I might be able to get onto the video because if you look around this valve and I've not wiped it off anything that's just the way it come out the engine trying to preserve what we see so if you look around that valve up close it's from here all the way around to about here not hardly half nowhere near half is a shiny surface about an eighth inch seat and it's concaved okay when you come all the way around over here it's not seating at all it's it's no shiny to it it was leaking it is leaking exhaust right there so, the, I'll show you what, what the, I'm going to wipe that out. Uh, huh. Interesting. Now, once I wiped it off there, <clears throat> I do have, once I wiped it off, I have a shiny seat all the way around, but it's about an eighth of an inch seat there, and on the opposite side over here, it's about a sixteenth. So the valve's in there crooked. The, the head's crooked. As compared to the valve seat. First time I've ever looked at this valve seat. And <clears throat> I'll explain it. I'll describe it to you. If you look around that seat right there, from from this area all the way around to this area, looking at it that way, it's shiny, okay? The other part of that seat over here ha has made no contact to correspond. I'm sure when you put this valve back in there, the two shiny places will, well, I can show it to you. Okay, this right here is a typical, this is the typical reason you have to crank your engines. When you're out there turning that flywheel more than a half a dozen times, you know, something ain't right. This right here is probably that reasoning. It, it, it contributes to one thing can be a mess on these engines. Even two things can be a mess, three or four. But when you when you keep adding them up, it's too much for the engine. <clears throat> this this valve, as you noted earlier, and noted on that seat there, where it has soot on it, and and this half of this valve had soot on it to the point where I couldn't see it 
being shiny over there. Okay, the reasoning for that is the bow spring was too weak to hold it shut. But had the spring been stronger and it pulled this valve shut, the valve stem is worn. I can see it. There's no reason to take a micometer to it when you can see it. This is smaller than this. When you can see that, you know, it's no reason to go any further with it. And this valve right here is really sharp on the edge where it has been turned to this size. Reseated. Huh, interesting. Um, so, <clears throat> with, further, with further examination, Yeah, part, half of this valve seat did not make any contact at all on the exhaust side. Make a note of that in, your, in that blank page there. Okay, when you put this back in there, can you, can you visually, can, that, that's how much that valve got is worn. Okay, enough said about that valve. Let's move on past that valve. To the point now we gotta fix that okay I laid in this uh, that's exhaust exhaust don't have no threads on it down there uh, this uh, I got this valve from Starboat that's a Starboat valve right there but oh yeah see see how proud that that valve sets in that cylinder in that head, I mean. So, oh yeah, it's going to be good. And, and it's, this part is not cut too much, I don't think, yet, to make this valve too small. <coughs> <coughs> At this point, you, 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 it requires, this engine requires a valve guide so I'm going to put the valve guide down in that hole there so when you put that valve guide in there you, you, you don't put it in there exactly the same angle as that valve guide in there is you, 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 you're changing up one way or the other plus or minus of some amount okay when you when you do that it changes I'm exaggerating, but when you do that, it changes the plane of this valve face. And then when you put it in there, this plane of this head don't match the valve face. At that point, you have to take the cutter and cut this valve seat to align it with the valve guide. At that point, if you put this valve, this is original stock size valve. They cost $57 a piece and some cents. And you put this thing down in here. And if that seat, if that seat's too big, then you have to make an oversized valve. That remains to be seen in this case. Let's get that intake valve out of there and look at it. And this is what prompted the whole valve uh, guide checkout, I guess. But to look at it before we loosen it up, it's that, that's how much it is. It's a lot. And the valve is really sharp on the edge. And uh, <clears throat> th this is not a good idea right here. If, if you own an engine and you're listening to this channel right here, uh, th this, is, this is not a good idea. Uh, you, you, you need a pin through there. At some point, you, you need to drill that valve stem and whatever holding fixture and put a cotter key in there. Running them without a fixed 
even if you lock two of them together. Well, <clears throat> you know, you know, by me, by me looking at this, me looking at this, uh, not knowing anything about, not not knowing how this was done, and me looking at this, trying to hold it here, and. To screw it off. So I think what happened is it was split in the middle and then bratted, you know, uh, opened up so that this nut could not come off. But at that point, you know, you, you rendered it to whatever. It does have two, two nuts locked together and then spread apart. So <clears throat> it's a, needs a pin in it. Just that's all I'm saying about that. But most likely where that cross piece is is where the pin was at, and maybe it broke off or something. But well, I'm gonna saw it off of there, and we'll look at it then. Actually, I might I might take the vice grips to it. I'm not sure that came right off of there, but we'll use that on this new one. That's a good spring there. That's a new one right there. We'll reuse that. That's a nice spring right there. This. Intake. Looking at the valve head there. Thank you. 
Well, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll put some new seats in there. We'll cut some seats in that head there and see what we got to what what we got to deal with. But in the meantime, back to this valve. And it being the same, this is textbook right here. I believe this is probably an original valve also. It, it's a... Uh, I don't see a number on it, but I think it may have had a number. Well, it... it It doesn't have any markings on the head of it, uh, but it it has it says patented right there. It's all it says on it. But I think this would have been original valve to the engine, and uh. And it also is been been turned quite a bit and will seep deep into the head. <laughs> 